Welcome back to the Supreme One Fire Ovens and today we're in our new showroom and what I want to show you is our new oven design, our Supreme Oven and what it can do. Now this new oven that we have designed, it's only your imagination what you can cook on it. Now here's what comes with the Supreme Oven. You've got your pizza plate for making your pizzas. There's a special design patented plate here that allows the airflow all around, which creates such a beautiful, this makes the perfect pizza. And then we can take that off. And then we've got our char grill, which is just the stainless steel grill. And then this oven turns into a Japanese robata. You can cook literally anything on it. You can use the skewers on it. You can cook whatever you want to cook. And this is all driven by the airflow, as we call it, the dragon's breath. So this has got the little air system on it, and this will heat up, this will what allows us to cook a pizza in two minutes. It's this air system that blows up to in, and you get this wonderful heat very fast. So all these come, all these versatile things come with the oven, and uh, we will be showing you at different stages the cooking processes of it. Now, to light up this oven, it's so simple. All you need is a square fire lighter, a fire lighter, and voila. There you go. And a couple of chipping of wood. You can make that fairly fine. Just put it on top. And what makes this fire so quick, why it lights so quick, is we'll just switch on the dragon's breath for a minute and you'll see how it works. You can see the flame coming up. Now you can see the small bits of wood that take it off. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have the charcoal. This is chunky charcoal we're using. It's wonderful stuff. And uh, you can use wood if you wanted to. There's no problems with that, but I love this. It lasts longer and it's just wonderful stuff. Now I've got the, the oven all loaded up with charcoal and as you can see I put the dragon's breath on for about five minutes no more and then it takes off. There's the dragon's breath, you can see what the dragon's breath is doing. Now, at no stage when you're lighting this oven, have the lid down. The lid must be open at all times because if you're using charcoal, there's a little bit of gas that can build up with the charcoal and you might have that little bit of extra flame that you don't want. So keep the lid open at all times when you're lighting this oven. Okay, so now I'm going to put the pizza stone on over the top, just like so. Push it down if necessary. Just get it even on the top like that. And then put our second stone here, and now we're ready for our pizzas. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to close the oven up. I put on the dragon's breath for a few minutes. This is just a very basic salami pizza, and we'll just put it straight on the stone. Get just the same as if you're doing it in the oven, no difference whatsoever. Put the lid down. Switch on the dragon's breath and wait for three minutes. So I've just switched off the dragon's breath and I'll open it up and let's see what we've got. It's been in for two and a half minutes. Oh, look at that beauty! I love it! Now, what I want to show you is you can see the top, how beautifully it's cooked. But what's the bottom? I lift the bottom up for you. Can you see that? how nicely it's cooked on the bottom. So this oven will cook the pizzas top and bottom evenly, beautiful to round. As you can see it's not burnt. It is absolutely, it is better than any pizza oven you could make. That you could make it in. You could not, you could not get a nicer pizza than this in any oven. And I've been cooking a lot of pizzas in a lot of ovens. I'm just going to make another pizza. And you could actually have pizzas coming out of this oven every um, every three minutes. 
get it straight on the stone, sticking a wee bit there. Perfect. So every two minutes you get a piece coming, or well, every three minutes you get a piece coming out. So what I do is close it up, put all the dragon's breath, and yes, we finish. Here's another pizza, just a simple, again a very simple pizza. This is, uh, we've met four within ten minutes. Put the lid back down. Switch on the dragon's breath. And wait for three minutes. Let's open up and see what we've got. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I switched off the dragon's breath, and this one's just under three minutes. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Absolutely. I love the way it's just puffed up around the edge. It's so nice. And if you can see the bottom, the cameraman can get his camera there underneath. See how beautiful that is. That is cooked perfect. You can't get a cooked better in a, in, a, in, a, in a conventional oven. You just it will not cook as good. It's so easy. That is absolutely brilliant. And using this oven is the exact same as a normal oven. You've got your pan, you've got your stone, you've got your fire. You've got it's equally the same thing. There's no difference whatsoever in the process of actually cooking the pizza. So now I've cooked four pizzas in the last 20 minutes and I've made up my own dough, I've rolled the dough out, I've done everything and here we are. So now what I want to show you is we're going to go on and char me. Now you can see we've cooked four pizzas uh, in the last 20 minutes. I rolled out the dough, I made, I made the pizzas from scratch so it's, uh, uh, it's the same as if you're doing it in, in your standard oven. And it's actually quicker so you can make more pizzas in this oven than you could in a big oven so what i'm going to do now we've made these and now i'm going to go on and show you how we do our char grilling now i'm just going to have a slice of my, my own cooking and to prove that it's very good <laughs> on the camera underneath that is cooked to perfection now we've finished making the pizzas for today and now we're going to show you how we charge it and the first thing I want to show you is how to remove the stones safely because remember these stones are very very hot All you've got to do is to just drop the paddle or slide the stone onto the pizza panel. Same with this one. This one's a little bit heavier. Now do be very careful when you're removing the stones, they're very hot. Yeah. So now I'm going to put the, the uh, stainless steel mesh on and we cook, what we're going to cook those hamburgers. And now here we're going to cook our hamburgers. I cook two, but you could cook four. 
Again, I'll put the lid down. Give it a couple of minutes. Note I'm not using the dragon's breath. There's, there's enough heat now in the charcoal and enough heat in the middle of it to, 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 to cook the hamburger. Now the hamburgers are really lovely. It's uh, it's just cooking at that gentle pace. Beautiful, absolutely delighted with it. So now you can see the hamburgers are coming along absolutely beautiful. And this is such a wonderful, healthy way of cooking. I love it. I love charcoal. I really do. Because all the fat's dripping in, you can see that it's just creating a little bit of smoke. That's the thing that's in that structure. And it's so healthy this way to cook. Now, I'm just going to melt a little bit of cheese on it. Not too much. And I'll put the lid on, and that'll melt in lovely to it. Check the cheese has it melted. Oh look at that. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Beautiful. What I'll do, I'll just take these off. And we toast our bones. So you could do four hamburgers with this. Very, very easy. I'll ah, close the lid again. Maybe for a couple of minutes. Are they too cooked? Um, they're okay. You can see they're okay. Get that shot. Oh, they look too bad. Mm -hmm. They look too bad. Okay. I'm just going to put the, the buns on just for a couple of minutes, or maybe a couple of seconds actually. Close the lid. It won't take these long cooking, I can tell you that. Oh, look at that, just look at how quick that was. Perfect. They are just perfect. Can you see them there? Yep. Beautiful. So now I've just put a bit of sauce on. And... There we have two beautiful hamburgers for tea. This hamburger tastes so good. I have to toast to myself with a glass of wine. Cheers. Now I've got three chops here and I'm just going to dribble a little bit of oil on them and a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt, which I've got in the container here. And I'm going to pop them straight onto the grill. Now you could put you could put six or eight chops on this if you want to. I want to really do. I'm going to put the lid down again.
so good about this oven. As you can see, my pork ribs are just about ready. You can see them there, they're just absolutely just about ready for eating them lovely. And you can have this, you can turn into basically a ribachi. Um, you can, I mean, it's so versatile, you can you can cook whatever you want to cook on it. That's the point of the thing about it. So you're not just tied to one thing, there'll be pizzas or baking bread, you can bake bread on it. All you're going to do when you bake bread, you pull the lid down. And again, when the fire's down to a level, we say at 180 or something like that, then you can bake your bread. They, these are just cooked, they're lovely. So you can see it there. Everything's cooked to perfection. Now you can see the pork chops are just absolutely ready to devour. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. I love it. And what's so beautiful about this oven is it's so versatile you can make it to be anything. It can be a rabatta grill, you know, it can be a pizza maker, uh, a smoker, it can be a um, bread maker. Uh, all you've got to do if you're making bread, you just pull the lid down on top and have your temperature down to probably 150, 160. And, uh, but in this case, we just used it as a ribachi. So those those are just absolutely perfect. They're ready. They're ready to. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take them off. They're perfect. And now here we've got our Scotch fillets. And again, I'll put the lid down for a little while, a couple of minutes. When you put the lid down, you get this surround heat and it actually cooks the meat so tender. It is amazing. I've never eaten meat like this. <clears throat> and now here we have our steaks and they are just perfect. They are cooked. They're on a, they're cooking on a low heat. Not a very high heat now, the, the, the whole fire has toned down quite a bit. But those sticks, you can actually just see a, look at this, a little knife going right through, look at going right through, beautiful. Perfectly cooked right through. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm just going to lift the, the stainless steel grid off and we'll do our skewers. cooking on this same fire for the last three hours, four hours, and it has died down quite a bit. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, because we haven't put any more charcoal on this, the same fire, the fire we started off with, and uh, I'm, I'm going to put the dragon's breath on to finish off cooking our skewers, and uh, you'll see the dragon's breath, for how it fires it up. Now we've been cooking on the same fire for the last four hours and as you can see it's gone pretty well down. I want to cook my skewers on it and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the dragon's breath on for a minute and this will revitalize again, it will bring it back up. Now I haven't added any more fuel to this from when we first started cooking the pizzas. So as you can see how long this will hold the heat and how much food it will cook. It will cook like for hundreds of people, really, if you want to look at it that way. But what I'll do is I'll show you how we can revitalize the fire by just switching on the dragon's breath.
How good is that? Now I can co continue on cooking my skewers because we've got the heat back up again and we will get, we've got a lovely heat, we've got a lovely even heat and I'm going to put the skewers on right now. It's amazing the way that brought that heat back up again to that level, isn't it? Jeez, that's bloody good charcoal. Well, after we've just got the fire uh, raised back up again to a level, I've just put the skewers on. I've just done a couple of skewers here because this is all just to show the demo how it works. But these will probably cook in about, because we'll get back up now to the 300 degrees in here in the oven. And we'll just watch and wait for what's for these to cook. Oh no, look at these skewers. Look at how good they are. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Brilliant. You can't get better than that. That is absolutely sheer brilliant. Now, I'll take these off because if I give them any more heat, they'll get burnt. And what I want to do, I hope I've given you some ideas as to what you can cook on this cooker. The versatility of it. Uh, you can take this oven anywhere where you want to go down to the river, down to the ocean. It'll work in a 12 volt battery. The, uh, the, 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 the amount of savings that you can have in actually the, the amount of charcoal you use, because we did not, or I did not put any more charcoal in the oven. And we could still keep on cooking. As you can see with the uh, skewers there, they were cooked in two minutes. So we could keep on cooking for another hour. So basically, on one fire, we could keep going cooking for five hours. We're going to char grill and smoke pork ribs, and I'm going to show you how we do it. All we have to do is, here's the ribs. Now, this is our new invention, and it just slides in and out like so. So I'm going to slide it right out. And all I have to do is load it up, say in the middle, just like so. Just there we go. And here's the next one. I'm just doing two ribs today. You could probably put 10 ribs in here, or maybe even more. But we're just doing two for the process of the video. And now I'm going to slide it in, and slide it right in. As you can see, I don't get burnt because I have had it pulled out, and the heat hasn't been added. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do add the chips. These chips I've got here, these are hickory chips, they're wet, and what we will do is, because when you're smoking, you've got to smoke with wet chips, because you, you can't, and you've got to smoke when the meat is fresh. You cannot start cooking the meat and then put the, the chips in, because it, the meat will not absorb the chips. You need the wet chips. You will see the smoke coming up in a minute. So that's all the chips in. And what I'm going to do now, I am going to close the door. Like as I said, we need the smoke before the cooking process takes place. There's the door closed. And now all we have to do is wait for about 15 minutes uh, and away we go. Now you would be totally amazed at the end product, how this meat comes out so beautifully smoked and cooked perfection, it is amazing, it even amazes me. Now, as you can see, you might have a little bit of smoke coming out around the edges of the door and stuff like that, but what you can do, you can engage the amount of smoke, I'll see the smoke coming up, if you didn't want so much smoke in it, and believe me, you don't need that very much smoke at all, probably 15 minutes of smoking is more than adequate, so if you want to get the full advantage of smoke, just close over the little damper there, and just leave it. Now I will open the door and I will let you see 
How, look at that, how much smoke the hickory, those little bits of hickory chips are making. Once you open the door, of course, it'll, it'll subside, but I'll close it back up again. But that just gives you an idea how much smoke that those small hickory chips will make. Now, we've had the, um, the ribs in the oven for over an hour, and I reckon they're just about perfect. But let's open them up and see what we've got. I'm just using the glove here to pull, the, pull it out. Now, I'm just going to take them out and see how they are. Looks good. And let's cut one up and see how it is. Oh, look at that, slicing right through it. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. There's the bone there. Look at that. You can see it's cooked through and through, no pink. That is just absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Could not get better than that. Let's have a taste. Beautiful. Mm.